to mean a master, usually teacher, you know. But I never heard really any, I mean, Arab don't use this, uh, they don't use such a thing. Which I find it weird, I mean, where, where did they get this from? But anyway, the title is not important, the quality is important. So let us see if the Muslims from Indonesia, how many Indonesian we have now? Do we have many? If you're Indonesian, feel free to invite your friends, post on Facebook, etc. You know. <clears throat> Have you seen a funny video of Aida was sending? Sending Israeli figs? What does that mean? He can send me too. I mean, I like figs. I love figs. That would be good. You will notice that those people don't even dare to speak about me. Potatoes. Anyway, Shalom everybody. Peace of the Lord to all of you. And right now we are live on both in Ramble and in YouTube. Um, so, uh, invite your friends and if you are Indonesian, make a lot of orang orang invitation. Actually, I'm thinking to start Indonesian class to teach Indonesian, Indonesian language. And uh, we will not make any like orang orang charge, you know, it's going to be for free. Let us see here. So who is a Muslim here from Indonesia or from anywhere in the world? But if you're from Indonesia, we will give you the priority. Anyone? Any Muslim from Indonesia? Nobody? Who is here? He knew an Ustaz or he is an Ustaz. A person who have knowledge. Small beard, big beard. Any Mohammedan? And people in Ramble, invite your friends. Yeah, we did not give you time really to know that I'm going to go live. I just, you know... I said, time go fast, and you don't notice really how fast it is. Uh, Zakaria, are you a Muslim, my friend? You left Islam? Ah, uh -huh. why you left Islam? What's wrong with you? How in the world anyone leave Islam? I don't know. I mean, I need to. I need to help you now to bring you back to Islam. There's no more versions for you. Call J. Reval on Skype. Who is J. Reval? Is he a Muslim? If he is a Muslim, I can call him. No problem. Is he like a Sheikh Indonesian stars? Go ahead, Zachariah. Salam, salam, how are you? Salam, shalom. Yes. Yeah, uh, not long ago, I actually left Islam um, as a part of the Salafiyah. Why you? But why you? Do, why you do such a mistake? You you will not go to heaven now. <laughs> yeah, no, no more virgins. <laughs> no, not only that. I mean, that will. Do you know that now you will not wear a bracelet? Can you live without a bracelet in your hand? <laughs> I don't know, man. No, seriously, bracelet from gold. Do you know? Do you know? Okay, let's listen. <laughs> I'm going to help you, okay? <laughs> okay. Sin. I mean, I, I really I feel sad for you. 
this guy guys he was going out he was going to get a lot of furniture first okay. he, he will get a couch don't you want to get a couch <laughs> well do, do you have a couch yeah, in your home do you have a couch in your home you don't let us be honest i, I do i do i do you do okay do yeah, you yeah. okay do you have okay do you have a bracelet made of gold no 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 see okay i got you so now it says here you will be reclining. Do you know how to recline? Yeah, of course. No, you don't. don't right because now. reclining in the heaven of Allah is different. You see? Prophet Muhammad is going to be the guru. And he will teach you sexual yoga. <laughs> 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 so you will be reclining uh, uh, with your wives on uh, in a certain yeah. place. And, and then... <laughs> and then it says, look at this translation, comfortable furnishing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, I'm glad it's comfortable, you know. I mean, can we return it if it's not comfortable? <laughs> can we return it if it's not comfortable? Like, can we send it back? Then do we have like 10 days to try? Or... And then we'll be adorned with a bracelet <laughs> of gold. Oh, boy. I mean, that, that's heaven, you know, if this is not heaven, what is heaven? And not only that, you will have a cushion, you know, a raik, and you will be wearing Gucci, you know, like it says, he, the translation is false, it says garment, green uh, garment of silk. It's true, mm -hmm. it is silk, yes, but it's Tabrak mm -hmm. is a, spe a special brand made in Iran, Persia at that time. Only rich yes. people, only rich people, they can uh, wear it. It's very expensive, uh, uh, you know, silk. So imagine the stupid Muhammad uh, <laughs> in his time. So I hope I did not hurt your feeling by saying stupid Muhammad. So, <laughs> <That's> so funny. <laughs> but, you know, imagine he say like, uh, uh, he mentioned in the Quran, you will have Gucci, you know? Like, yeah. <laughs> this is what it is, because at that time, this is like Gucci, you know, like this is like an expensive brand. And yeah, those poor, Mecca, Mecca yeah, <laughs> and, and and they say to you the Quran is written by before time, and but this is uh, th those at that time the one who was making this, those are the kuffar, the pagans. Why in heaven? Why Allah is going to buy the brand and put it in heaven? You know, it's, it's a special <laughs> Mecca edition, you know. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know, like you know, um, and look, Muhammad is a person who is he he gave parable like Jesus too, and cite to them the parable of two men. To one of them, we gave two gardens of vine, and we surrounded them with palm trees. <laughs> <laughs> palm trees? <laughs> Why has palm trees got to do with that? Because he's in the desert. In the, in the desert. Yeah, in the desert. And then okay. both gardens produced their harvest in full and suffered no lose. And we made river flow through them. Okay, what about, about the other guy? And he have, and thus he have abundant fruit, he said to his friend, as he come <laughs> conversed with him, I am wealthier than you and, and uh, greater in uh, manpower. And he entered mm -hmm. his garden and he, uh, uh, warring in himself, he said, I do not think this will ever perish. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he said hanging himself just for a second. But anyway, <laughs> I mean, the story is so silly and so stupid. Muhammad trying to be wise now, you know? Oh, uh, boy. <laughs> just jams anything in there. All right. So what, why you left Islam, my friend? Well, really, the, the head of the snake for Islam, out of many reasons, but the head of the snake is uh, really um, proving Jibreel was sent from Allah. And for, for that to be proven, it's like a kidnapper handing me a note saying he is not a kidnapper. So how does that authenticate the kidnapper? You don't know. So Jibril could just be a demon. You don't know if he was sent from Allah. And um, that's basically the head of the snake. It's a very circular argument. A Muslim will just come and say, oh, well, the Quran says so. That's all they can say. Mm. But, you know, the Quran was given by Jibril. It was dispensed from Jibril. So how can you prove Jibril was from Allah? And they, they just run away. They don't know how to do it. Well, I can prove that Jibreel from Allah, as Khadija she did. Do you know what Khadija she did? <laughs> what did she do? Striptease. Sorry? Striptease. Striptease? Striptease. You know striptease? You speak Arabic? Uh, it's like Shari, yeah, very bad. All right. She did strip. You know, she ordered Muhammad 
uh, to sit in the top of her right right uh, thigh, her leg, and then nice. he he moved. Yeah, because he was seeing Jibril in the corner, but he was not sure that this is Jibril because Jibril he don't talk. He come and sit in the room in the corner like weird, you know, <laughs> weird though. <laughs> so he told. Yeah, so he told his wife, I see somebody, he sat there in the corner. Do you see him? She said, what the heck? What do you see? Tell me. So she, you know, he told her and she told him, okay, do you see him now? She said, uh, he said, no. So she said, next time you see him, potato, you tell me. Potato? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the best name. <laughs> you, you can open, you know. the, you can open the, the book of Asira, Ibn Hisham, volume one, uh, number one. Page number 239, and this is a story. Do you see my screen? Yes, yes. All right. So she asked him to sit in the top of her right leg. She said to him, honey, do you see him? He said, yes, I see him. He's still there. <laughs> she said, okay, go to the other leg. Sit in the top of my thigh. Do you see him? He said, yes, I see him. Yes, yes, yes. Bro, they're getting horny. <laughs> yeah, and then she asked him to sit in the top of her, you know? Literally, in the top of her. Bro, why is this fetish that he has? What the hell? <laughs> yeah, and then she said to him, do you see him? He said, yes, yes, I see him, I see him. So, and then and then she said, she she, she took off her clothes, she started taking off her clothes and while, while he is sitting in the top of her. And she said to him, do you see him? He said, uh, no, I don't see him. So she said, glory, glory to Allah, this is an angel. <laughs> <laughs> You ask the Muslim, how in the world, how in the world, Khadija, she find out that this is an angel? No, 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 it's just this Bedouin theology, you know? No, no, but uh, Khadija, she gave good explanation, actually. She said, if he is a shaitan, he will stop, he will stay to watch porn. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually true. Yeah, That's I mean, true. the story in front of you, this is their books. I mean, it, it, this is what Muslim wrote about their prophet, how Muhammad discovered Jibreel. His wife, Khadija, who is not a Muslim, she is the one who come with such a smart method, which is a strap tease. And Muhammad was like a baby. I, I can imagine how big Khadija is. Maybe she was like two meter by two meter. I mean, what do you mean Muhammad sat in the top of her leg? Are we talking about six years old kid? <laughs> and what kind of a prophet? He, he don't say to his prophet, what are you talking about? What the, what? No. Imagine the wife, imagine the wife of Abraham. She said to her husband, honey, come here, sit here, sit here. Abraham, you were like, what the heck? What's wrong with you? <laughs> do you know how? <laughs> do you think oh I am God. like a, I'm a baby or something? So this is, as you see, the reference in the front of you. And Muslims, if you are saying I'm lying to you, my friend, here we go. The page in the front of you. Read it. Examine it. Take your time with it. What's the funniest thing you've ever like discovered in Islamic scripture or text? The funny thing. Funny thing. The funniest, like, other than this one. I don't know. You see, the, the, the problem, Muhammad, is so funny to the point it doesn't matter how many times you read the same story a thousand times still you laugh as if you see it yeah. first time. Yeah, he's like, Mr. Bean. <laughs> yeah, it's like, he's a, Mr. Mr. Bean don't talk. The problem, actually, the Muslims, they wish that Muhammad is Mr. Bean. He don't talk. The, the guy, <laughs> the more he talks, the more he make poo, -poo you know? He is like he's like a like a fertilizer machine. Like for the sake of the shin of Allah, stop talking, man. So Prophet Muhammad, he have he have a, like. Uh, I remember when I was in the school, you know, the teacher he yeah. he was teaching the kids. I I sit in the class. I even though I'm a Christian, I sit just yeah. to laugh, you know, to watch and see to learn about this stupid religion. So. Yeah. And uh, the Muslim now they they pay the price for teaching me. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, and and then one of the kids he raised his head, you know, before the 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 teacher who is a sheikh. So he said to him, "Aren't you afraid the Prophet of Allah? He says if you raise your head before the Imam, Allah will make your head the head of a donkey." And I was saying <laughs> like, "Huh?" It's, it's the city, it's the city, you know. 7th century Arabia philosophy or you know mythology. No, but Muhammad is a, uh, you know Muhammad is serious, you know. So Muhammad yeah. he told them, if you raise your head before the Imam, uh, aren't you afraid Allah will make your head the head of a donkey? And that explained, <laughs> you know, like uh, uh, evolution. <laughs> yeah, yeah, evolution. <laughs> Muhammad's evolution. Have you ever heard of a prophet? Know. He comes with such know. a. 
Have you ever heard of some prophet come with such amazing stories? Like I, I don't know if it was like some the way that people talk in some century Arabia, but it's pretty pretty weird for a prophet either way. But no, this know, guy is serious, and the Muslim believe in this. You know, the Muslim they believe in it, but nobody asks himself. Mm -hmm. I mean, imagine how many people raise their head by mistake at least before the Imam, and how come mm -hmm. not even one of them his head became a head of a donkey, except Zakir Naik. <laughs> 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 oh man, that's us. Yeah, yeah, I remember this one from a long time ago. All right, my friend. Well, thank you very much for joining us. Anything you want to say? Oh, no worries. Yeah, it was, it was <clears throat> nice. No worries. See ya. All right, take care. Do we have any Muslim who would like to come? <clears throat> I don't know. My voice is, is gone. I just started. Let me eat those uh, candies. <clears throat> I need to stop drinking coffee at all, you know. They told me if you take, you know, uh, I will take the advice of a Prophet Muhammad. Don't drink coffee, take take heroin and cocaine. <laughs> oh boy. The Prophet of drugs. <clears throat> Hezbollah, brother and sisters, they are religious and they are doing jihad, but they are number one producer for drugs in the Middle East. I mean, look at this. Same as Taliban. <laughs> they are Mujahideen, Allahu Akbar, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> oh boy. Do we have any Muhammadan? I hope this uh, thing in my uh, mouth is not making a, a noise for you. <clears throat> Do we have any Muhammadan? Would like to join us? Any Ustaz? You have a question about the name of Allah? Don't worry about his name now. I mean, worry about his equality. You see, our problem with this uh, silly, stupid God of Islam is not the name. Let us say the Muslim, they change the name of their God. They call him Trump. <laughs> Still, he is a stupid. I mean, <laughs> what is the qualification for someone he is God? Uh, was it stopping? What is stopping you from calling J Rival? What is stopping J Rival from calling me? <laughs> okay, give me his Skype. I will call him J Rival. Give me his Skype. I will open Skype just for you. <laughs> hmm? Give me this guy. I don't know who's the guy. J Rival. Why you don't call me? Like, is it hard to join? <clears throat> Give him a link, invitation. Well, well done, just do it. Do it what? How are you going to call him? <laughs> yes, just do it. <laughs> <clears throat> you can call? Okay, join me here. Go. Put your hand up, I will put you here. And bring me this guy, J, whatever you call him, the Muslim. He's from, from uh, Indonesia. Is he from Indonesia? Okay, put your hand up. I will take you. You call him and let him join us. You are from London? Uh, okay. Don't tell me call this guy and call this guy here. I'm here. If you have any, any Abdul, he dare to speak to me. Is welcome. <coughs> you are also dealing with uh, Soros uh, throat. Did you hear? Did you eat the fruit of the garden of the neighbors? As what happened to me? Mm. <coughs> you can have nice chat. Is that you? Uh, the one you call himself, Jay? All right, Mitch, hey, Sophie, how are you? I'm fine. Go ahead. What do you want to say to us? Um, I need your help with the. I know, like the ninety nine names of Allah. Uh -huh. They have some. Some of them are a bit weird, right? <laughs> some of them. <laughs> <laughs> Arabic is my mother language, but I'm not. I'm not too sure like about the meaning of 
some of them. All right. <clears throat> For example, like when they say the Allah is al mumit right? Uh huh. Like, does that mean like he's the one who like, creates death? Yeah, well, this is fine because supposedly, you know, <clears throat> like, you know, uh, we cannot live for eternity. It's at the end of the day. It's in the head of in the hand of God, right? Uh, but the the way it's coming, it's, it's stupid because you know, like uh, El Mumit, it's not like the one who made the. You see, all the Muslims trying to say to us, what Allah can do, right? <clears throat> but uh, uh, there's things, obviously, Allah cannot do. And if we ask the Muslims about the ninety nine names. Uh, where we can find them, you will find that the Quran does not have those 99 names. Most of them, they are fabricated, they are not. Stuck in Larry Bird's attic. And I'm going oh, cuckoo. All right, I didn't know that. Hmm? You may be so, on the what, what did they create? What, what is that sound? What's the point of it? Get all stayed, save money, and be protected from mayhem, like me. Hello? Is that sound from your side? No. What commercial? I have nothing working here. I have no, I don't know. I heard commercial. No, I don't have anything. I don't have anything open. Okay. All Sorry right. about that. <clears throat> All right. So the uh, names, uh, had... the names is not really the problem. Uh, the problem that the names are not exist. They are fabricated. Uh, like if you ask the Muslims where the, where the names coming from, they cannot even really give you an answer for those names. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Hopefully, I'll get some Abdul's busted with this. There are some names are very funny and weird. You know, uh, Allah is al al mutakabbir, which means the arrogant. I mean, yeah, well, I was actually going to ask you about that one. Like he he's a show off or what? No, I, you see, not only, I mean, you see, in order to show off, <clears throat> or, I mean, arrogant is a, is a bad description for anyone, you know, you, like nobody will say to him, you are arrogant, and he will be happy, you know, uh, so how Allah is the one who is, uh, Al-Mutakabbir is different from the one who is proud, Al-Mutakabbir yeah, uh, is someone, I think that's one of the miracles of Allah. Yeah, it's just it's just it's just a stupid, you know. And at the same time, mutakabbir usually you use it when you speak about somebody. He uh, he think of himself highly, but he's not. This is how mutakabbir is used. You don't use this word for someone he is really high. You use it only for someone who is stupid, and he is he he show off himself like he is something, but he in fact he is not. Uh, also, I have another question since. A lot of these names, they're actually some titles that Jesus gave to himself. Can we use this argument against Muslims to point to Jesus' like, divinity as... Yeah, I made, I made videos about this a um, long, long, long time ago. And many Christians today, they use it to refute them. Like when the Muslim, they say, where Jesus said, I am God, worship me. You know, but we know that Jesus... Uh, 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 the Quran uh, take words which is coming from Jesus to describe Allah as an example you mentioned that he is uh, Al-Mumit but there's a, a name of Allah is Al-Muhi the resurrector you know mm. uh, Jesus says I am the resurrection Allah he said he is the truth Jesus says I am the truth uh, yeah, uh, like Allah, Allah he said I am, I am the light neuron you know Jesus says oh. I am the light so all those description is for God and nobody else can have them. Yet the Muslims, because they have no, 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 uh, let us say, uh, zero ethic when they speak about Jesus, uh, they claim that Jesus never say his God. But can Muhammad say I am the truth? No. Can he say I am the light of the world? No. Can he say I am uh, uh, the way, I am the resurrection, I am the life? Can he say before, before the world I am? Uh, can he say I am the Alpha and the Omega all those Muhammad he put them to his God the only thing Muhammad he took from Jesus as a name is Muhammad which means the praised one 
not necessarily the name as a name, but the word meaning as the praised one. So Muhammad himself, he claimed to be God too. I think he, he drank too much camel urine. Well, he is an evil man for sure, you know. <laughs> yeah, and, definitely. And uh, uh, obviously he have, an, he have a mental issue. He think he is the most important person in the world to the point that even Mary and the wife of the Pharaoh, uh, they will be in his bed. You know, this is how sick he is. Any, face of, any famous woman, Muhammad he heard of, he told the Muslims, she, Allah will give her to me. So obviously this person, he have a mental issue, you know. Why why Allah will give him, um, I mean, what, what does that mean, you know? Uh, why the wife of the Pharaoh will be the wife of Muhammad? There's only one answer for that. Muhammad is suffering from mental illness. Uh, he have a lot of uh, eco steam. He think he is, uh, uh, you know, he's a fascist. He's Nazi. You know, he think he is the yeah. best of mankind, and the rest are cockroaches just to serve him. Yeah. Yeah, he's a psychopath. Also. Exactly. Well. What a weird guy. And and uh, even Muhammad, he claimed there's a hadith. He says that. Uh, uh, if not him, Allah told him, if not him, uh, Allah will not create the earth and the heaven, the prophet, the chairs, the tablet, uh, everything Allah have, you know, uh, he will not create everything created because of Muhammad. And here you notice Muhammad is copying a statement of, from the Bible where everything created by him and for him. So Muhammad, he came and he says, okay, you know what? I have the same quality of Jesus. Allah told me, if not you, Muhammad, I did not create the creation. Lawlaka, I will not create the creation. So now Muhammad, he think that he is the highest in the world and the whole world is exist to serve him for he is God. You know, Muhammad, obviously, he don't think of himself as a man, normal man like us. As the Muslim, they claim Muhammad, he is just a prophet. No, Muhammad, he confirmed, and this is the hadith, and obviously it's authentic according to Muslims. Uh, the a Muslim is asking question, what the, like what the ulama, which means the scholars, they say about this hadith, which means if not you, I did not create the creation. So, uh, are there any support, hadith support, this sort of, this sort of answer? Indeed, the Prophet of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. They can't even say his name without uh, uh, Allah pray on him. <laughs> the reason for the creation of Adam, Alayhi Salam, and the universe, brother. If the Prophet of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, was not in existence, then the Arsh, which means the, the throne of Allah, the chair of Allah, Allah have, a, uh, Allah have two uh, furniture. One is a throne and the other one is a chair. <laughs> And, yeah, he, he used to put his ass on. and the qalam which means the pen of Allah and the sky and the earth and the heaven and the hill and the trees and the stones and all other creatures would not exist brother so what, who's this man Muhammad it turned to be that Allah himself he is serving Muhammad Allah himself why Allah exist why Allah yes, creates Muhammad, Muhammad Just, is Allah's God exactly uh, Muhammad he is making himself more important than Allah himself and Allah himself is existed just to make Muhammad happy there's a hadith, okay. another hadith says here, if you go down, the Prophet of Allah said, Allah said, when Adam made a mistake, he asked Allah, I ask you for the sake of Muhammad to forgive me. Allah said to uh, Adam, like Allah was like, what the heck? How you can do that? So he said to him, <laughs> he said, how do you recognize Muhammad when I have not yet created him? <sighs> Look here. See, Allah was shocked. He was looking at Adam. Adam? What? Allah was worried. Maybe Adam, he can read my mind. Maybe Adam is Allah as well. No, but look what happened. Adam said, Oh Allah, <laughs> when you created me, Allah, uh, and the blow uh, into me, the spirit, I lifted up my head and I saw written in your arsh, in your chair, La ilaha illallah Muhammad potato of Allah. <laughs> It turned to be Adam. He is he is made. He speak Arabic right away, and he can read Arabic. Like you know, and Arabic is exist at that time. And Allah so is Allah the. Brother, Allah. Huh? 
MashaAllah, brother. It's a miracle. <laughs> So and Allah when he made the chair he wrote, <laughs> he wrote shahada and the chair. <laughs> so the stupid Allah actually this hadith by the way showing us how stupid Allah. Like Allah, did you forget that you wrote the name of Muhammad everywhere? <laughs> Allah Allah is like like uh, like uh, the graffiti boys, you see them in the street. They, they write the name, their names everywhere. So why Allah is writing the Shahada <laughs> on his chest? He also has like dementia or something. He yeah. Forget us all. Well, he have all, all kind of mental person. illness. And then he, uh, Adam, he said to him, and then I said to myself, who is this important person who Allah associate his name with him? <laughs> so he must be important. So I ask you for the sake of Muhammad, so Allah, he said to Adam, you have spoken the truth. Indeed, Muhammad is more beloved to me than anything. When you ask me for the sake, I burden you. So why you send him to heaven, to earth? <laughs> 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 what a stupid religion. He, he so he didn't really pardon him at all. Yeah, well... Stupidity is amazing. Well, thank you, my friend, for joining us. I'm happy that you left Islam. But if you think oh, about if you think about leaving Islam, let me know. If you if you think about leaving Islam, let me know because I want to send a letter with you to Muhammad. <laughs> no, I'm a Christian. I, I don't. Muhammad is the worst of. I know, but if you creation. decide to become a Muslim one day and you want to go to, to to the heaven of Muhammad, I have a delivery for Muhammad with you. <laughs> I'll send, you'll send me Ajwa maybe to heal him from, from the Oh, poison. no, that's too late. Ajwa will not work there. No, no, sorry. Yeah. The mm. Poor, poor Momo. All right. Well, thank you for joining. Thank, thank, thank you. you. Take care. Bye-bye. Have a great day, man. Bye-bye. If Bukhari <clears throat> alive right now, he would have complied and documented everything and all your videos about Prophet Muhammad, regardless of your factual or not because Bukhari job was to compile things anyone understand what this guy is saying ah, we have a new prophet all right <clears throat> who care about your Bukhari the Quran alone is a is a laughable the most stupid book ever flying carpet so a man is speaking to the ant the ant, she warning the, the, the ants that don't look at Suleiman because he have a sexy ass. <clears throat> Al-Bukhari now is the problem. Potato. The Muhammadan, they think if they escape Al-Bukhari or the Hadith, they can, they can escape it really. We laugh at your Prophet no matter what. The Quran alone is very laughable. From the first page to the last page of the Quran is laughable. <clears throat> this is why we are changing those stars. Ah, he is saying he, he will. He will say, <clears throat> "No, Al Bukhari already he did his job to check whether it's true or not, based on the the way Muslim they do it." And by the way, I mean, how you can find out what is true or not because you did not witness what people are saying. And you are not one of the companions, and you are a person who came hundreds of years after Muhammad. So how you can check that this guy said to this guy, the guy said to this guy? It's just a stupid religion, you know. <clears throat> like my auntie, she said to my my grandfather, mother, my grandfather, my daughter, that said, 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 said. But if one of them in the way between lied, then the whole story is fabricated. <clears throat> But Islam, you know, is based on both. However, even the Quran is the same. The Quran is collected more than, I mean, even the Quran of Hafs, the one the Muslim recite, most of them, the one which we see now in every print mostly, it's not exist. They don't have it. <clears throat> Do we have any Muhammadan? Who is a Muhammad and would like to go to heaven? Do you know that if you debate Christian Prince, even if you did not win, you go to heaven and Allah will give you extra reward? 
Ali je Mustajem? Look at those verses we are reading in the screen. Hilarious. Just a stupid story. When the angels accuse Allah, He will create Adam, and Adam and his offspring will do mischief, and Allah, He opposed them, saying, I know what you know not. You bunch of cowards. And then Allah wanted to prove the angels to be stupid. And he wanted to prove to them that he have knowledge of everything. So Allah, he taught Adam the names of things. And then Allah, he said to the angels, Okay, okay, you claim that you know Adam will do this? Tell me the names of the things I taught Adam. <laughs> and the angels, they looked like, what the heck? What is this? This is microwave, but they do not know its name microwave. What is this? This is a chair. They don't know that its name is chair. What is this? This is a dog. His name is Susu. Oh, we don't know the name of this dog. So the angels, they give up. They said, Allah, we know not except what you taught us. And now Allah, he proved his God. Why? Because he know the name of those things. <laughs> and uh, because he knew the name of the dog, which he gave him the name, that means he is wise and he is all knowledgeable. <laughs> so imagine, I said to you, what the name of my dog? You say, I don't know. Say, his name is Susu. And then you say, oh, Christian Prince, let me worship you. You are the all wise, the all eligible. Because how do you know the name of your dog? Well, I'm the one who gave the name for my dog. What if Allah, he do the opposite? He should do the opposite. If you want to prove that he knew everything, the future or the unseen, he should ask them, okay, go behind the wall, you know, and give those things names. Don't tell me. Then come to me and ask me what is the name you decide for each one of them. And then I will tell you, that will prove that really he knew. Not the opposite. Do you see how stupid, how silly the story? So now, he gave them the names, and now he asked the angels to tell him the names, and because they do not know the names, Allah suddenly become all knowledgeable. Who can beat that stupidity? Like, do you know the name of my cat? Meow. Uh, her name is Meow. Wrong. Her name is uh, Joe Biden. You are getting closer. <laughs> almost, almost. <laughs> what the heck? Is that how God he examined the angels and not what and not only that Allah he you know he accused he accused the angels they are liars you see here in the translation it says if you are sincere <laughs> but in Arabic it says in kuntum sadiqin which means if you are truthful so Allah even accused the angels his angels to be a bunch of liars. So how Jibreel brought the Quran to Muhammad when Allah himself accused Jibreel to be a liar? Do we have any Muhammadan? Mayday, mayday. And how do you do? How is our sound coming in YouTube and Rumble? Is it good? <clears throat> Anyone from Indonesia? So we gave the title Indonesian name so we can get maybe Indonesian attention. But we are not getting too many Indonesian. Let me read for you some Indonesian Quran. Hold on. Maybe that will bring Indonesian Muslims here. As you know, my Indonesian is very good, you know. All right. I will read for you now Indonesian. <clears throat> it's very easy, you know. Indonesian is a very easy language. Uh, if you are a person who eat coconut or banana, you will speak this language very easy. Because this is why they speak this language. They eat banana, coconut, you know. So, Dan Dia, Mingarangan, Kabada, Adam. 
Easy. See? Nama uh, Nama. Oh boy. Uh, benda Benda. Like, what the heck? <laughs> All right. Benda, benda. Are you serious? No way. And nama, nama. Okay, so like there is no, until now there's no orang orang. Thank God, you know, there's no orang orang. Hey, Muslim, do you see? I mean, this is an amazing story. And then he says to them, Oh, there is orang orang. I thought there is no orang. <laughs> I thought there is no orang. There is no orang. It's there. <laughs> it's. I see it. <clears throat> orang orang. Okay. So orang orang young banner. What, what young banner mean? Uh, Indonesian. Tell me. What does that mean? This is the only word I do not know, by the way, in the verse. <laughs> the rest I know it very well. Uh, young banner, telling the truth, you mean? Is that what you're saying? Okay. So, okay, that's right. That's right. That's, it's mean the translation is a little bit accurate. They are saying if you are telling the truth. That's really good. No? So, Allah, he accused the, he accused the angels of being a liars. Hmm? So how you can you know how you can trust the Quran given to Muhammad by Jibril? So orang orang young man or truth? Okay, but young what young mean? Young. <clears throat> young that means telling truth, right? Telling. Young is is truthful. So uh, he's saying to them, banner, orang, orang. If you are a, a lot of truthful, ah, okay, okay. <clears throat> you know the Indonesian changed though, from the way I made it when I first time, because you know my grandfather Adam, he landed first time in Sri Lanka. <laughs> And then he sent me once to buy some uh, vegetables. And because Sri Lanka, it's not a green. It's desert, as you know. I mean, all of us, we knew Sri Lanka is so desert, right? So my grandfather, Adam, he said to me, can you, like, find me some, uh, uh, you know, like, uh, vegetables? Because here there's nothing to eat. So I said, okay, where will we go? He said, go in this direction. I keep walking, 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 walking. And then what? I stopped. In a city, it's called Jakarta, you know. I told them, what is the name of the city? They told me, uh, Ja and Karta, because those like our two sisters, they were fighting to the, together. So I said, okay, can you give me some two kilos Ja and one kilo Karta, you know. They gave me like, uh, you know, cucumber and uh, uh, tomato, uh, orang, orang, you know. <clears throat> then by the time I came to uh, Adam, by the way, this is a true story. By the time I came to Adam, it took a lot of time because it's really far. I mean, it's like a uh, half day walking, you know, really far. So by the time I came back to Adam, I came there, I could not believe it. Sri Lanka became a green. Why? Because of a global warming. So uh, Indonesia became desert and Sri Lanka became a green because, you know, like uh, the, somebody made the smoke cigarette uh, in, uh, in uh, Jakarta and then all the cloud, they moved. And they come to Orang, Orang uh, uh, Sri Lanka, you know. And since then, uh, uh, Indonesia is a dry land. There's no, there's nothing, no trees. There's nothing. There's no even mosquitoes. Because mosquitoes need trees, you know. <laughs> Do we have any Mohammedan would like to join us? Okay, I was. Go ahead. The mic is yours. What do you want to say to us? <clears throat> hey, Assalamu alaikum to Muslims. Assalamu alaikum to Muslims. Shall I throw you out of the stage now? You saw you saying to me, Shalom to Muslims, and you don't respect us, don't you? 
the ones who uh, criticize Islam, no, but the ones who are just following their religion. So, yeah, so why your prophet? Why your prophet? He said, Allah told him, if you are have a doubt about Islam, go to Christian prince. It's in Quran. What I was to tell me? Are you a Muslim for real? Do you know how to read your, do you know how to read your book or you do not know? I know, I know Quran, yes. Okay, well open, you know. This is the Quran. Read with me. This is the Quran. Give me give me a very different chapter. And, and I'm here to expose you. I'm here to expose your lies. Sure, sure, sure. Quran chapter ten, verse number ninety-four. <laughs> give me give me one moment, I'll be back. Oh, you need one minute? Is it enough one minute? Okay, I'm back. All right, what was the name? But how, I mean, you feel so fast. You went back fast? Okay. Chapter uh, chapter 10, verse number 94. <laughs> what happened? Do you want water? Yeah, I'm to the Yunus 94. Uh -huh. All right, yeah. If you, O Prophet, are in doubt about these stories that we have revealed to you, then ask those who read the scripture before you. Mm -hmm. The truth has certainly come to you from, from your Lord, uh -huh. so do not be one of those who doubt. Okay, who is the one who read the scriptures before him? The Christians and the Jews. Not the Christian prince. You have the Paul's version of Bible, the original uh, Bible that the Christians read. Yes. Ah, uh, but uh, so who is the one who is talking to him now? He says, "If you have a doubt, go and talk to them." Who are they? Uh, the the uh, people who have the 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 book. The the, the, yeah. the, the book. Who are they? Those who have, have the book. The uh, Jews. Who? Oh. Oh. Not the Christians, only the Jews? Christians too, but ah. the Jews have more. Ah, okay. old, old so what, what kind of a prophet, Allah, he is saying to him, if you have a doubt, go and ask the Jews and the Christians. <laughs> if, Muhammad himself, yeah, because, if Muhammad himself, he have a doubt that he is a prophet, so how he can, anyone can believe him? I mean, the guy himself, he don't believe he's a prophet. He was reciting Quranic verses, and there are a lot of stories in it that match with the Old Testament. So God, <laughs> no, God no, no, no. It says here. It says if you, you are. So, so listen, if is, is Muhammad here in doubt or he is not in doubt? It's he's a human being. Of course, he was a. So what if he's a human being? Why Muhammad he doubt that Allah is lying to him? Because he was a pagan and they didn't, they had belief in also okay. So God. Muhammad he have a doubt that Allah is God, and Allah to confirm to him that he is God, he said to him, "Go and ask the Jews." Yeah, because he would okay. Have and, no, and what the Jews they so said, was, and what the Jews, me, no problem. You uh, you agreed with me. So, and what the Jews they said to Muhammad when they he went to ask them, what they said to him. He, uh, they, so uh, the thing is, these are these are the stories that are unverified. This is not. I'm asking you. I'm this asking you. When Muhammad, they, when Muhammad, when Muhammad, he went to the Jews. You are the one who mentioned the Jews. Muhammad, he went to the Jews and he asked them, "What the Jews say to him? Did they confirm that he's a prophet? Did they confirm that Allah is God?" That's, that's part of the, the history. There are hadiths about it that may be false. No, there is no. That, don't don't play this game. The the Jews they made fun of Allah. The Jews don't believe in Allah. Yeah, Jews are Jews. Uh, that's why they they keep getting punished by Hitler. By wow. now they're getting. I don't know. The one is being punished is you. Look at you. Look at your Muslim country. It's horrible. You know. No, no. No, that's not true. We, yeah, it's true. It's, 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 it's true. It's true. It's true. And not only it's not, the last plan. not only that, you know, my friend, not only that, you are living under the protection of of, of countries where they are your enemies. You Muslims, the Quran says in chapter five, verse number fifty one, take not Christians and Jews as your protectors. 
Can you name for me one Muslim country is not under the protection of America? Qatar and Saudi Arabia. They are not under the protection of America? Dubai. They are not? No, no, they, they are rich. They have their own money. They don't need protection for anybody. So, are you, so you never, so, shut up. So you never heard that Qatar have the biggest base of American army in the world? <laughs> First, you shut up because Qatar is the one funding America. <laughs> Get out. Listen, I'm here to Just get out of here. I don't have time for kids. <laughs> it turned to me that America is funded by Qatar. <laughs> Abdul, all the GDP of the Muslims together in the world is not even equal to one day, one day of what come to the New York airport. Uh, airport. All of you together. You have no idea what are you talking about. What a bunch of stupid people. Qatar is rich because... The small population, otherwise, if Qatar have a big population, the, the Qatar is poor. And your Qatar is under our protection, it's under our shoes actually. The American now, if they decide to play games, they can change the, the, the ruler in two seconds. We have the biggest base, and not only that, Qatar pay for it. The land for free, electricity for free, food for free, anything for free. Same as your Saudi, same as your Emirati, same as your Kuwait. The biggest street in Kuwait is called George Bush, peace be upon him. <laughs> and when Saddam Hussein, he took Kuwait, it was our shoes who free Kuwait. And we made your caliphate, Saddam Hussein, hide in a... There's, a, there's an issue, by the way, between the Muslim caliphate and holes in the ground. Each time they go with war with the American, they hide in a hole. I'm serious. And the funny is, the Quran says uh, that the Kuffar and the Jews, they fight you from behind walls. They are coward, brother. But who is the coward? Hmm? Who is the one built tunnels? Where we found the caliphate of ISIS? Where we find Osama bin Laden? <clears throat> hmm. All right. Any Abdul? So as you see, the stupid Muhammad, Allah advised him to go and ask the Jews, but the Jews make fun of Allah. So what kind of a God he asked the Jews to tell Muhammad if he's a prophet or not? When they don't even believe in Allah. As you see, the Jews are making fun of Allah. When the Muslim they say to you in the time of Muhammad, the Jews, the Christian believe in Allah, obviously it's not because as you see, they are making fun. And why Muhammad himself is having a doubt? Imagine you are the one who have a, you are the one who is the messenger. You yourself, you don't have, you don't trust the message you receive. If you go in the chapter 1, the first chapter in the Quran, and you read the reason for this verse to come down, you will find that it says that each time Muhammad he receive, or each time he, he go out to do pupu, uh, he hear a voice in the dark, say to him, O oh Muhammad, what Muhammad he do? He run away. Okay. But Muhammad already now is a prophet and he's, he heard Jibreel already. He spoke to Jibreel. Many times. Why is he running away? The story doesn't make sense. And why Jibreel, he don't talk to him when he's home. Why he wait for him until he go out to do pupu? I mean, is that the perfect time? Because it's a pupu Quran? So each time here it says, the Messenger of Allah, 
whenever he went out, the translation here is is trying to be polite, or hide, maybe in purpose they are hiding it. It says baraza, which means he went out to, uh, uh, to do biraz, which means to to do shit. So each time he go out, he used to hear someone calling him, Oh Muhammad. And whenever he heard this, he used to flee. Why, why are you fleeing? Muhammad already now is a prophet supposedly and he received verses before this Quran. It's not the first time. So why he flee? And then a guy supposedly he is a Christian, his name is Waraka, according to Muslim is a Christian, advise him to remain in his place. So the caller, when he call him, he can ask him what he want. What is this? How Muhammad, you know, the Christian guy told Muhammad, wait. So what if this Christian guy did not tell Muhammad, wait? Muhammad will never receive the Quran. Muhammad hear the sound, he flee. And we have the story of Muhammad trying to commit suicide, as you know. Why? The same. Each time, according to the story, he go to the top of the mountain to throw himself. Jibreel appeared to him and says to him, truly, truly, you are a prophet of Allah. And then Muhammad, he come down and he stopped from throwing himself from the top of the mountain. If you are a Muslim, you might talk to me. <clears throat> Either you speak in a mature way. I, I, I'm, I'm not having patience no more for kids. Like you want to come to me, you want to expose me. Get something real. Don't be stupid. And you Muslim, you stupid people, you keep saying Paul, Paul, Paul. We have tons of reference from your books saying that Paul was a great messenger of Allah. A bunch of stupid people. Big mouth. I challenge you anytime. Okay, join me. Are you from Indonesia, the one who challenged me anytime in YouTube? <clears throat> join us, join us. There's a guy, he challenged me anytime. Anytime, take a note. Is that, is that anytime, anywhere? <laughs> Anyhow? Anyway? Yet you are not calling me. That's a lot of a challenge. Do we have any Muhammadan? Any Indonesian Ustaz? Do we have any Indonesian Ustaz? Would like to join us? Imagine Muhammad now he is in the front of us and we are watching him, all of us. We have a camera like life. And Muhammad, he heard a sound coming to him saying to him, Oh, Muhammad. I mean, first, this is, a, this is an act of cowardness. You see, when the angel came to Mary, Mary, she is a woman. She did not run. <laughs> Imagine when the angel came to Mary, Mary, she flee. She opened the window, she jumped. <laughs> I mean, Mary is a woman, she did not flee. Why when Muhammad, he received the sound of supposedly an angel, shouldn't the angel voice be convert, conf, like comforting? Is that like a scary sound? Maybe like Christian Prince voice? Scary? Maybe the angel should whisper to Muhammad, say to him, how are you doing, Habibi? And then Muhammad, he will like it, he will stay. The Muslim, they say, that the, angel, the voice of the, like if they want to say about something, they say that they have the same, the voice of the angels, 
So how Muhammad, why Muhammad is afraid and scared from the voice of the angel? Hmm? Muhammad he go in the panic mood and he run away and the funny is his panty between his legs the guy he was just doing poo poo and look at this stupid angel I mean can't he wait well, I mean look at this story each time he went out to do poo poo he can't he come to his house where Muhammad can't like, close the door close the window Muhammad can't go anywhere so now he go in the street oh Muhammad look what the heck And why Muhammad don't say to him, who are you? But obviously Muhammad is mentally ill. Like Muhammad, he claimed that one of the signs of his mental illness, that when he walk in the street, stone, they say to him, Assalamu alaikum wa messenger of Allah. Like who? Stones, they say to Muhammad. And this is stones, by the way. They love Prophet Muhammad. Look at this. Let me find you. The Hadith. The stones say to Muhammad, Assalamu alaikum, O oh, Messenger of Allah. Even trees. <clears throat> and by the way, not all the stones, one stone only was unique. That stone was saying always to Assalamu Alaikum to Muhammad. <laughs> Muhammad he says, I recognize a stone in Mecca. She always greet me and say Assalamu Alaikum, Prophet of Allah. Look at this. I recognize a stone in Mecca, which used to pay me solution. Before my advent as a prophet, and I recognize that even now. Before Muhammad become a prophet, stones, they say to him, Assalamu alaikum, O Messenger of Allah. And you are telling me that Muhammad is not mentally ill? Any Muslim can tell me why this is stone? In Mecca was saying Assalamu Alaikum O Messenger of Allah If anyone says to you He hear voices coming from stones Don't right away you say he's mentally ill Just be honest Muslims Why the stone is greeting Muhammad The superiority Look, look at the title, the chapter The superiority of a prophet lineage And the stone that greeted him Before his prophethood <laughs> guys do you know even the story of the lizard who converted to Islam do you know the story of the trees who said shahada all of those stories we cannot find them in the Quran any Muslim can tell me why I mean, how come the Quran mentioned the miracle of Moses, the miracle of Jesus, but the miracle of Muhammad can't be found in the Quran? I will tell you why. Because you Muslims are a bunch of liars. You fabricated the stories about Muhammad to make him look good. Otherwise, this story should be in the Quran. And how come nobody hear the stone? So Muhammad, he always walk alone? Like when you walk alone, you know. Assalamu alaikum, Messenger of Allah, Muhammad. Look around. Look who's talking. Who's talking? It's me, the stone here, here. Look at me. Look like your prophet was watching too much cartoon.
Hmm? And as you see, this is a very authentic hadith. The Muslim they cannot say. Uh, this is fake. And why only one stone? Maybe this is the only stone to speak Arabic. Any Muhammadan? Obviously, Muhammad was stoned when he heard the stone talking to him. <laughs> Let us be honest, Muslims. Don't you think Muhammad was stoned when he heard the stone talking to him? Let us be serious here. The stone? Saying to Muhammad, Assalamu alaikum, O Messenger of Allah. Do we still have this stone? Can we have an interview with it in Discord? Hey, Muslims in Saudi Arabia, who can please invite this stone to have an interview with me? As long as this stone speak. Oh, what about the story Muhammad he mentioned about Moses? That is even more funny. <clears throat> And it's connected to stones too. So Muhammad <coughs> claimed that the Jews accused Moses that he have a problem with his balls. And Allah wanted to prove that the balls and the penis of a prophet Moses is so good to be true. So Allah waited until Moses he was taking a shower alone as usual because he's shy. Those Jews they thought Moses have a problem because he don't show his testicles to everybody. Nobody can see it. He's shy. He's a modest man. And nobody ever saw his balls or his penis who never show his skin. He, some of the children of Israel annoyed him by saying, ah, 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 ah. he only keep himself covered because he have some defect in his skin, either leprosy or a scarlet harina or some other defect. Allah, the Almighty, the Supreme. Uh, Allah start thinking, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. TikTok, what I should do. TikTok to clear his name. TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. Um, I got it. So Allah wanted Allah the Supreme, not Allah the normal one. There's two Allah. There's Supreme and there's the one that's not Supreme. <clears throat> By the way, is, is that sublime or sublime? <laughs> anyway, let it go. I wanted, I wanted to free Moses from what they we are saying about him. Oh boy, suspense. One day, Moses, peace be upon him, was alone. He took off his garment and he put it on the rock. And he took a bath. When he finished, he turned his back to pick up his garment. But the rock moved away. Taking his garment with it, Moses picked up his staff and chased the rock, saying, O oh garment, O oh rock, my garment, O oh rock, you rock, you stupid, tell me rock. Until he reached a group of the children of Israel who saw him naked. The Jewish women, they look at his penis and his balls. <laughs> oh my Allah! Subhanallah, how his balls are so good. The Jewish men, they said, Oh my Allah, look at his balls, like the balls of a cow. And then a brother, 
uh, when he arrived between the Jews, the rock stopped. And he started beating the rock. Shame on you. But yeah, because, you know, in that he did not cut the hand of the rock because this is a theft. Haram. So Musa, he started beating the rock and Muhammad swear by Allah. Oh, I swear by Allah. The mark of the beating is on the rock until now. But Muhammad is not sure if there are three or four or five marks. <laughs> you know, it doesn't matter how many times you read this story. Each time you read it, you laugh as if you are first time reading it. And this potato with his name Awaz is coming here to, to expose me. <laughs> Awaz. Once I was walking down the street, la 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 la. La 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 and I went to the beach the la 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 you, you add the music <clears throat> and then I took off my clothes there's nobody there I was alone I put my clothes on the rock the rock the filthy rock she start rocking her road she start in the beginning rocking and roll, start dancing, moving. In the beginning, I thought maybe there's an earthquake. Maybe I drank too much camel urine. Like what's going on? But I did not give it attention, to be honest with you, because there is no way the rock is going to take my clothes. And notice here, the rock did not move right away. The rock waited for him, <laughs> so he can follow it. So when he had finished bath, he moved toward his clothes, so as to take them. But the stone took his clothes and fled. Moses pick up his stick and run after it, saying, "O oh stone, give me my garment." And here, by the way, you notice something very unique. Look like at that time, stone robbing people is normal like now we have shoplifting in walmart at that time the story was different the one who go to walmart it was the stones <laughs> true story true story and you notice here moses is not like shocked like like what the heck he's not like how the stone is moving no He's just saying, Stone, give me my clothes. And notice that Moses is running after the stone. And the, the Jews they did not wonder how in the world the stone is running. They were wondering how beautiful the balls of Moses. <laughs> like nobody noticed of the Jews, like what the heck? How the stone is running? Nobody. They were looking at Moses' balls. Look, brother, look. Brother, brother, brother. Do you see look at the balls of Moses, brother? They are big balloons. Look at his penis. Alhamdulillah, his penis is healthy. Nobody was wondering how in the world the stone is running. It sounds like an American movie. In one scene, Sylvester Stallone was hit with the bullet in the, in, the, in the right shoulder. In the other scene, they changed the t-shirt and the blood in the left shoulder. But anyway, who is watching? <laughs> it's an American movie anyway, you know. They forgot where, where the previous scene, where, where the blood was. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so Muslims, nobody asks himself, how in the world the stone is running? Is that like normal at that time, stone run? So nobody wondering, it's like normal theft happen every day, stones running. What's wrong with you Muslims? Everybody is focusing on the balls of Moses. <laughs> Imagine yourself. You are like in your town in the market 
and then you see a guy he's naked and a stone is running taking his clothes and the the guy is asking the stone to stop stop my clothes my pants my wallet my iphone <clears throat> nobody nobody knows nobody knows nobody knows nobody knows nobody hmm. nobody nobody knows nobody knows how the story goes nobody don't ask questions just say i believe and that make you a muslims and nobody nobody all of you muslims are nobody not a single one of you is a man enough to ask himself how in the world this story come to existence how muhammad is a prophet of god and he tells such a stupid silly story and look the stones allah he made the stones run in order allah to prove that he have no problem with his bows he exposed his prophet to be naked and there's a children's and there is women but here by the way there is something very unique If you read carefully, the stone stopped there exactly where the crowd are. And Moses took and put his garment and he started hitting the stone with the stick. I wonder why Moses did not put the stone in jail. <laughs> That's it. I mean, Musa is the leader of his nation. What people accuse him? What are you talking about? This guy is a king, they're king. And now this stone is red-handed, cut red-handed, stealing the clothes of Musa, the king himself. Shouldn't Musa put the stone in jail? Or you know what, should we stone the stone? By stoning to death? I think that will work. We put the stone in the middle and we ask every single Jew to stone the stone. That's a brilliant idea. Only Christian Prince can come with it. <laughs> and the funny is, a Muslim, he called me the other day, he says to me, Christian Prince, I'm here to do, expose you you speak about Islam in a way, make Islam look funny. I make Islam look funny. Or I make you look stupid. Because you are. Who in the world want to believe this garbage? And then here it says, Muhammad is swearing by Allah, by Allah, the stone still have some traces of the hitting. <laughs> but Muhammad is an honest man. He is not sure if there are three or four or five. Just see the honesty. The whole story is true. But at the end, Muhammad, because he decent, he can't give us the correct number. He is not sure about this part. He is sure about everything else. The part where, how many marks? Uh, you know, to be honest with you, I'm not sure. If there are three marks, four marks, five marks. Hold on. Great and print. First of all, it doesn't matter if there are three, four, or the four, or the five marks. What, what do you mean it doesn't matter? Your prophet, he told the whole story. Now this is mentioned, I mean, what is missing? Why? Why? Why did Allah did not tell him how many marks? Good and print. It's possible that the Prophet Muhammad forgot the number. Okay, he forgot the number. He can say I forgot the number. What the point of saying three or four or five? Good and print. You are very stupid. Prophet Muhammad is not poor. Either in three or in four or in five. <laughs> okay. Uh, what about he say? I think it's five. But saying three or four or five, that's mean he never had any of those numbers. Good, the Prince. First of all, you are making a big story of nothing. 
That story is proven, and even you know we can prove it by scientific. Do you have the stone? Do one have marks? It depends on the ED. We can bring you a million stone, have three marks on them. As an example, there's a stone in, in Washington, D.C. It's called the three mark stone. This is where we start doing running for marathon. <laughs> in America, until now, they say to you, this is the milestone. Why do they say milestone? Because simply after one mile, they put a stone. Because Musa, he was running one mile before he got the stone. So the mile, one mile is sold, you know, he kept running like running after the stone, and this is the word where the stone is coming from. <laughs> Listen, what, how, how fast you make up those stories. First of all, I did not make this story, the story is made by Christian friends. He's the one who make my voice and forget the story about me, and they didn't make me say it. <laughs> it's a milestone. So, Moses, he ran one mile before he catched the stone. <laughs> and this is where the word marathon is coming from. Anyway. <clears throat> oh, Lord, I want to see. All right. <laughs> and the Muslim accuse me, I make the Quran look stupid, and, and Islam look stupid. My friend, you are no match. You have, you are a stupid. Your IQ, your prophet IQ, your God IQ, your stories IQ is a stupid. And I make it look funny because it's funny anyway. What an idiot to believe in this. Do we have a new Ustaza from Indonesia? Orang, Orang. Awaz is back. What do you want, Awaz? <laughs> uh, I wanted to talk about uh, your statement. Which one? About Allah is the best of deceivers. Is he, is he not? Uh, so, yeah, I wanted to. So, you know, I'm not going to uh, discuss in the Bible. There is a. Uh, when kings no, no, don't change the topic. God is is he the best of? I'm not. I'm not changing the topic. Okay, just, is I'm he is he the best of deceivers or not? He's not. He's best of planners or plotter. Plot. Okay. Can you read the verse for me? Okay. What he words? Can you remind me? If you don't. <laughs> he want to talk about the verse, but you not know what the verse. I I know, but uh, okay. Let me finish. Ah, let me say this. He's ready for the verse, but you don't remember which verse. Mm. I know, it's 354. 354, right? that's a good one. Okay, read it for me. Okay, and the disbelievers made a plan against Jesus, but Allah also... Where, where, it says, where, where it says the plan, where it says the plan, or what the plan? So, if you read the uh, clear Quran, okay, the, uh, the, you, you see, you are the one who came before and you mentioned this clear Quran. Let me yeah, ask yeah, you, okay, I let, let, that. let me I make it. That. So, do you accept any translation of the clear Quran? So, I accept that it means plot, okay? No, no, do you or accept the translation? Do you accept the translation of a clear Quran, which means any verse I show you there, you will not say, I don't accept it? What you are thinking? Well, yeah, I'm thinking because uh, he's a human being at the end of the day. But he's okay, a human I being. Ninety-nine point nine percent. Ninety-nine nine percent, except the one I will show you. <laughs> do you see why I kick you out? I don't have time for kids. What do you mean ninety-nine percent? What do you mean ninety-nine percent? No, listen, listen. Do you accept his translation? Yes or no? Here, I think it means best of the plotter, so no. I am asking you. Oh, no. So why you are why you are giving me a person he lie? No, I think it's not best of the planner, it's best of the plotter. Okay? I, I'm not talking about this. I'm saying, do you accept his translation for the Quran? No, no, because I'm, I'm telling you that he translated it wrong here. 
Guys, he translated wrong there. <laughs> he is the one who chose the translation. He is the one who mentioned the translation. And then when I ask him, do you accept the translation? He says, no, no, I don't accept the translation. He keep coming. I mean, this guy, I don't know. I, my hand, my hand hurt. He must be a mature person who reached the age of puberty at the age of six, like Aisha. What's wrong with those Muslims? Too much hashish. Plan, what plan? Stupidity is amazing. <clears throat> you can go right now and search for the word makar in the dictionary. You do not need a Christian prince. Search for it. And then everybody will see. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, I I'm new to this. I'm new to your to your disco, but I have lots of topics to talk about. I want to know about Christianity because I want to you know, believe. But I watch your YouTube for some time now. Are you a Muslim? So I'm asking you, are you, you teach me? Are you a Muslim? No, I'm atheist. What do you think about Muhammad? <clears throat> uh, I don't know. I, that's what, why I'm here. What do you mean? You don't, what do you mean? You do not know. What do you think about Muhammad? Tell me. Do you think he? Do you agree with me that Muhammad is a potato, false prophet, idiot? Uh, no. Oh, you are Muslim then? Why you are lying then? No, I'm not Muslim. But no, you are. Lying. You are lying. Uh, obviously, you know, because any atheist, you should agree, Muhammad is an idiot. I see, is that like the one for chess, or this is a horse, an icon you have? Yeah, uh, the one for chess. Ah, but don't you know that chess is haram? What? Don't you know that chess is haram? No, I, uh, I don't right. know, I, I'm not... I'm not okay. a Muslim, I don't know about. No problem. Uh, okay, I will ask you. As long as you are not a Muslim, I, I have a feeling, strong feeling. My uh, uh, my seven sense of humor told me that you are a horse, not a Muslim, not an atheist. So now, as long as you are a horse, uh, do you know that Allah, He made the horses run and He created Himself from the sweat of horses? No, I don't. I, I don't know that. Uh, I'm not Muslim. Okay. So what if I show you the hadith? Are you going to call Muhammad stupid? I'm not, I, I don't know, I'm not Muslim. I, I, okay, you know, I, I, I know, I know, okay, okay, you are the Muslim. So I'm saying, uh, yeah, so, yeah, so I'm asking you now, if I show you that according to your religion, as an atheist, not as a Muslim, that Allah, he made the horses run, and then he made them sweat, and then he created himself from the sweat of the horses, what you would say? <clears throat> yeah, I, I say, Show me, show me, and I'll, I'll let you. I'll, I'll see. What, what? Uh, I'll show you. What, what you will say? What you, th what you think? I don't know. I don't know. I'm here to learn about Christianity. As long you are, my, my friend, my friend. As long, as long you are uh, an atheist. If somebody says to you that there is a God, his name is Allah, and he made mm. horses run, and then those horses which run. He made them sweat and then he created himself from the sweat of the horses. What you will say? Uh, yeah, he's so stupid. Stupid. So do you agree Muhammad is stupid? Yes. All right. And now you are, you are out of Islam. That's wonderful. So do you believe Allah and Muhammad both are not nothing truthful about them? No, I don't believe. What do you mean? So, you, I don't know. A second ago, you said to me, Muhammad is a stupid. Yes. Why he's a stupid? <clears throat> uh, 
I'm not here to I'm not here to talk about Islam. No problem, but uh, but I'm but I'm, I'm here, here but I am here I'm to talk asking. but I am here to talk about Islam. You see, you are not here to talk about Islam, but I am no, here. I'll, I'll, no, I, I want, I want you, to you to teach me about Christianity. I'm not here to teach you about Christianity. I want to be sure that first you are not Muslim. I'm not Muslim. Okay, swear by Allah that you are not Muslim. Why would I swear by Allah I'm not Muslim? I don't believe in Allah. Okay, swear by the Quran that you are not Muslim. Why would I swear by the Quran that I'm not Muslim? I, okay, I don't believe in swear, Islam. Swear by fig if you, you are not a Muslim. Huh? Swear by fig. What's that? By fig, fig, the fruit, fig. Swear by the fig that you are not a Muslim. I'm not Muslim, bro. I, I swear by anything, I'm not Muslim. Do you swear by fig? I don't know what that is. Do, do you think swearing by fig is a stupid? Fig, fig, the fruit. Why would I swear by a fruit? Yes. I know, but do you think it's stupid to swear by fig? Yes. Well, Allah swear by fig, so do you? So now you agree, Allah is stupid. You refuse to say that. So do you agree now, Allah is stupid? Yes. All right, that wonderful. So now, what do you want to know? Tell me. Go ahead. So I have. Hold on, let me count. One, two, three, four. I have, I want to, I want you to teach me how, first of all, I want you to teach me how is Jesus God? How is Jesus is God? Can you do that first? Yes, can you teach me that first? Before uh, for, you want to for, first of all, first of all, first of all, what is the definition of God for you as an atheist? Uh, so, uh, and uh, someone supernatural being. Do you, do you believe in supernatural being? Yes. But you said to me you're an atheist. Yeah, but, you know. Yeah, I know, I know. You are just an idiot. I know. You Muslims, you are willing to insult your prophet just to lie. You have no shame. How you are an atheist and you believe in supernatural being? I mean, you do not even pass the test of two seconds. He's an atheist, but he believes that there is supernatural being. <clears throat> being, you know? Nice to meet you, Mr. Bean. Don't bring him back again. I don't have time for kids. I mean, even Mr. Bean will come with better speech than yours. Do we have any Muhammadan? Yeah, they are allowed to deny their religion. They are allowed to deny Allah. They are allowed to even to, to curse Muhammad for the sake of, uh, of Islam. This is why I warn you, you might find a lot of people, they come here in the chat, they will say bad language to Muhammad, but they are Muslims. This is for them jihad. So in order to get your private information, anything to harm you, they will play that they are anti-Muhammad. They will be the most aggressive against Muhammad between all those in the chat. Don't be a fool. Do we have any Muhammadan? Even if a person, he say all kind of insult in front of you about Muhammad, trust me, a lot of Muslims, they are willing to do that. This is not against Islam. Because in his heart, he, is, he don't mean it. It's just to destroy the enemy of Allah. Regardless if he is a Muslim or not, he is stupid for me, it's not worth my time. 
He say he's an atheist, but he believe in supernatural being. Then you are not an atheist. That is an answer for someone he can call himself agnostic or whatever, you know. Do we have any Muhammadan? Same time, it's very silly to say to me, read his profile. I can create a profile now, make myself a Jew. Because this is the whole idea, is to convince you who I am. So it's very silly and very naive to believe someone is something, uh, you know, in, in Pal Talk, I used to have a profile. It says, I'm a Muslim. Uh, I'm a black, blonde, African-American from Japan, and I have four wives. Does that mean you really believe that I'm a Christian prince is a Muslim? And you have four wives? Only silly people, they take what people write in their profile. They create a profile for this issue. <clears throat> sure, I can get to tell you about Imam Mura. Can you call me? Because we can read that page and we can laugh at you. Do you dare you and your Fifi? She, she, dare to call me and talk about Imam Mura. Let us read the whole page and laugh together. <laughs> Do you dare? Right now. You put the page, we are reading where Imam Mura, and let us die laughing at your stupid prophet. Do you dare? Betito, I know you don't. Otherwise, just put your hand up, and I will invite you, Imam Mura. Just do it right now. Coward, like he's a prophet. Christian Prince, 107 lies, but they don't dare to call me to speak about one. A bunch of cowards. By the way, is one of the lies I said is about Musa's reign after the stone. Is that one of my lies? Any Abdul? Who is a Muslim can call us confirm the story in the front of us? Anyone? Yeah, time traveler like your prophet. According to your prophet, the Samaritan he was existing at the time of Moses. <laughs> call me, let us talk about time travelers. Your God, Allah, is a time traveler. Is that your Quran? <laughs> the summary, he was exist in the time of Moses? In which book of history it says so? <laughs> uh, time traveler. Uh, you know, there is a when, a, when a Muslim, he speak, and by the way, you will notice how they change the topic. They don't dare to talk about it. They don't dare to debate you about it. They don't dare to call you about it. And they are like bugs in the chat. You want to call so we can talk about time traveling? Who want to do it? Nani Muhammadan? Mary, the sister of Aaron, time traveler. And Mary is the daughter of Amran, the father of Moses, time traveler. Shall we continue? Is it true that Mary is the daughter of Amran, which is the father of Moses? Are you there, Imam Murrah? Mm. <laughs> anyway <clears throat> do we have any brave Muslim here I hope I'm not insulting by saying brave Muslim any Muhammadan
who is a brave Muslim from YouTube, from Rumble, from Discord? May they, may they. Uh, Balor, you know, I don't know, you're being silly, you know. Uh, either you speak like a mature man or I will block you. Seriously. I'm not going to look at the text of to see who is the one is making fun and the one is being silly and the one is talking like a teenage. So either you speak like a growing man or I'll block you. What is this? A warning for anyone in the chat. Either you are a mature or you are a kid. If you are coming here just for fun, take a hike. You want to say something useful, say it. Any Mohammedan? Yeah, no answer as usual because you don't dare to call me, right? We ask you to join us, but you are a coward like your prophet. Trash. So do you agree that the Muslim scholars, including Imam Murra, they say that your Hafiz is the one who gave you the Quran is a liar? <laughs> Let us say for the sake of argument, this guy Imam Murra does not exist. So what about the rest of the story? This is the story now? So let us, guys, a man, his name, Imam Murrah, he said the Prophet Muhammad, he cleaned his anus with the three rocks. The story now is not about Imam Murrah, the story is about the anus of the Prophet, but according to Muslim, the story is about Imam Murrah. <laughs> the, the question is, is it true that Hafs accused by Muslim to be a liar and nobody accept his hadith? And then the stupid you, Muhammadan, you accept the one you call him a liar, regardless if there's murra or durra. Is that true? No answer. <clears throat> Any Abdul? Uh, the guy who is saying that he is, he said he's an atheist. My friend, either you are not smart or you do not know what you are saying. You say you are an atheist, but then you say to me you believe in a, a supernatural being, which is God. So how you call yourself an atheist? So do you know what atheist means? That's why I have to kick you out. I don't have time for, for a troll. You sound like a troll. Either you are a Muslim lying to us about who you are, or you are trolling us. There is no way someone who is an atheist, he say, I believe in a supernatural, uh, like a, a being, as God. That will make you not, a, not an atheist. Well, that will make him stupid, genuine. That will not change the fact. Because saying that you are an atheist, and then you say you believe in supernatural being, and you are a genuine atheist, that makes you a stupid atheist, who is genuine about his stupidity. Because you cannot be an atheist and you believe in that. Do we have any Muhammadan here would like to join us? Do you know which halves? Do you know which halves? <laughs> why you are in the chat, you don't dare to come here? I will tell you why. Because your mom, she said to you, don't speak with men like Muhammad. You will end in their lab if you speak to them. Potato. 
Do we have any Muhammadan? Maybe, maybe. Anyone? The funny is, all the stories Muhammad he mentioned in the Quran, the Muslim didn't find uh, 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 the story of Muhammad is a lie. But, you know, Christian prince, he read their stories, he says lying. So the flying carpet of Suleiman is a true, it's not a lie. A guy who have 600,000 chairs in front of a flying carpet made of wood. His palaces, his whole kingdom are flying. That is not a single Muslim he found that this is a lie. But the Christian prince reading the stories of Muslims, they say he's lying. What a bunch of idiots. Well, Balar, you are asking me to, to block you and ban you. Is that what you want? I'm not joking. This is the last warning, my friend. I'm not here to talk to kids or people who want to speak like kids. So don't force me to do it. I'm not going to talk to you again about it. Christian Prince, I need to make a stupid comment, please. Adult only. Don't mention my name if you are saying something stupid. Any Muslim can join us and tell us who is lying. Is it true that Suleiman have a flying carpet? Is it true that Shaitan have sex with his wives? Is it true that his wife did discover that this is the fake Suleiman because his penis was so good? Is it true that Suleiman he went to the bathroom, he gave his ring to his wife, and then Shaitan he come in the image of Suleiman and he took his ring. So all of these stories, Muslim, they don't see any lie in it. But Christian Prince is lying to you. Do you see how hypocrite you are? Any Muhammadan? Is it true that Suleiman he found the value of the ants where gold and silver grow? Any Muslim? Because I'm looking for gold and silver too, you know? Will be very interesting to find where the silver and gold grow. Any Muhammadan? <clears throat> Anything the Christian they say to them, they say he's lying. Anyone who exposes Islam is lying. But Muhammad saying all those stupid stories, and the Muslim in their books is full of it. They are telling the truth. This is the description of the flying carpet of Suleiman. Read and love. Well, if you are not serious, my friend, uh, this guy is just um, uh, being a comedy. Do you have a cartoon about Muhammad? No. So what? Uh, what is the sound you are making? What sound? Are you a Muslim? 
Yes, Alhamdulillah. Okay. Why you have this uh, icon in your... Are you making fun of Muhammad? No. So do you leave Muhammad? Uh, say Shahada. Let us hear you. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Ashhadu anna Muhammad. You did not continue. Rasulullah. Uh -huh. Say it again. Say it again. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Ashhadu anna Muhammad bin Rasulullah. Muhammadan Rasulullah. Okay. What do you want to say to us, Muhammad and Rasulullah? I want to say this. Uh -huh. You cannot refute the Quran. No way. You may try to refute the Hadith, but the Hadith are not as strong as the Quran. Uh, okay. Explain to us about the flying carpet of Suleiman. Go ahead. You are getting that from Hadith. You are not getting that from Quran. Are you sure? Hello? You are looking at the Quran? No, this is Hadith. Hadith number 2181. I don't understand what is wrong with this. I don't get it. A second ago, you said to me, you cannot find it in the Quran, but it's in the Quran. Okay, I, 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 I am corrected, but uh, what is wrong? With you are corrected. So you are coming to correct me, to refute me, but you corrected after a few seconds. It says that Suleiman, he have a flying carpet and he fly a, a distance of one month journey by noon time. What is wrong with that? So you believe in no, flying? So, so uh, you, Allah can so, uh, make miracles. Allah, He can do what? <clears throat> he can do miracles. So why Muhammad don't have a flying carpet? Are you saying that because you're a prophet that you, you get a free uh, flying carpet? No, because Suleiman, he got everything. Muhammad, he got nothing. Muhammad, he had Suleiman, according to your prophet, he have a flying horse. And then he got angry, he slaughtered the flying horse, so Allah replaced his uh, car, the first horse, with the flying carpet. Correct? Hello? I don't see, I don't, I don't see flying carpet. Where does it say flying carpet? So what, explain this to me, the, the, the verse in the front of you, what it says. It just says the violent wind flow. What what that uh, wind uh, is that like fart? What do you mean wind flow? What this wind flow doing? Uh, maybe he controlled the wind. I'm not sure. Oh, uh, maybe. Or what the wind do when he control it? I don't see one carpet. Okay. Well, how you Muslims ex uh, uh, explain the Quran? Do you have explanation? Do you have explanation for the Quran? You are, you yourself you read. I I see the Quran as uh, guidance uh, for mankind. This is not my question. Uh, I said to you to understand what the Quran is saying now. Do you read interpretation for it? Yeah, yeah, I, I read the interpretation. Okay, what interpretation you like to read? It's the English translation. I know what interpretation you like to read. What is that? I don't know. I don't know what you mean. What do you mean? You don't know what you mean. There is there is a scholar. I, I, just read, I just I just read the English translation. That's it. There is a scholars who explain what this verse is saying. Which is your who is your scholar? I don't have one. I just I interpreted myself. Oh, okay. Well, my friend, nice to meet you then. Okay, <clears throat> so he don't accept the hadith. He don't accept the scholars. He don't. He give you answer. He throw at you, and that's it. I don't have time for kids. English translation. What is that?
We can go right now and check what is that. We will find that your prophet explained clearly saying that this is a flying carpet made of wood. Suleiman, he used to carry all his kingship in the top of it. Everything, not only his wives, his army, the cook, the dishes, the houses, the palaces, everything. The whole country is flying. So don't tell me, you know, I give it my own interpretation. I'm sure you never even maybe, you don't, you don't sound like you know what you are talking about. In the beginning he said, this is in the Hadith, right? I said, no, this is Quran. You don't know, this is Hadith or Quran. Do we have any serious Muslim who have, he know what he is talking about? Uh, no, uh, six and Allah two, uh, one and two, they are complete. Because both topic is about sex and Allah. And that's why they have the same name. Uh, maybe I should make actually even number three and number four and number five because there's a lot of things uh, Islam is very sexual, as you know, but I made the, I made those two books to be enough to show people how sexual Islam is. Do we have any Muhammadan? You notice I'm not having patience with those people because simply I, I don't want to troll here. If I want to debate, I want to debate someone he knew what he's talking about and he's real. No kids, no stupidity, no people throw things at me as they wish. When you want to refute somebody, you give him reference. You don't say I explain the Quran as I wish. No Muslims accept that. Either you say to me the Prophet says so, the Quran says so. And to support it, you can give me the scar or say so. Otherwise, saying me saying so, you are nobody. When I explain Islam to Muslims, I don't say Christian Prince saying so. I show you what your book saying. <clears throat> and as long all of us, we knew that Muslims themselves, they have rules. And Muhammad himself, he said, supposed their rules. When the Muslim they deny those rules, it's simply it's just to avoid the embarrassment. You have rules even to go to the bathroom. Islam is a religion of rules. All of it is silly and stupid. Any Muhammadan who is serious is a growing man. Anyone? Can I eat at my mom's house? Yeah, I mean, this is Quran. You can eat in your dad's house. You can eat in your mom's house. By the way, you can even eat your mom, in case you do not know. According to Muslims, if somebody became an apostate, you can eat him. So if your mom or your dad or your son or your daughter left Islam, you can eat them. <clears throat> Sometimes you might say, I mean, this is really crazy. What are you? What, what this guy is talking about? There's no way somebody will believe. No, this is what they believe. This is what they teach in their in their schools. This is what they teach in their universities. Any Muhammadan? Eh? 
By the way, if there's a Muslim, he says, this guy is lying. We don't, Islam, we don't believe in Aklin. In, in eating someone, he left Islam. Challenge me. Who want to do it? Quran never say flying carpet. No, Quran says a flying carpet. It's in front of you. Flying carpet. Uh, genie, they are diving for Suleiman. Uh, all kind of stories. Getting diamond for him and pearls. And you know, if we assume what you are saying is true, so why the Muslim they have in their books, it's about flying carpet? You are the only smart Muslim between all those Muslims? They are the, the rest are stupid? <clears throat> hmm? So if we go right now to all Muslim big names in Islam, Ibn Kathir, al qurtubiyya Jabba, all of them, they say this is flying carpet. How come those who they are Arab, they see it as a flying carpet, but you don't? I will tell you, because it's embarrassing. I can refute the Quran, I did. I, did. I asked you, what does that mean? You do not know. What, did he controlled the wind? It says in the front of you, he controlled the wind, and the wind take him to the land he want. It's in the front of you. Guys, you cannot refute the Quran, it doesn't say flying carpet. It's in the front of you, it says that he, Allah, he made the wind in his command to take him to the land he wish. It doesn't say flying carpet. So what, it was a flying Suleiman? <laughs> Which translation you like to read? And to Suleiman, we subjugated the wind strong ragging running by his command toward the land which he we had blessed. <laughs> and then still there's no no flying carpet. It's in front of you. But we cannot debate a kid, you know. A kid, he can say whatever he wants, he can deny as he wish. Ah, he used the wind to fly. Ah, I see. Well, this is a flying carpet still. <laughs> because the flying carpet is you riding something. You have to stand on something, right? And so the man, he was riding with his army. And look at the stories after that. Shaitans, they are diving for him. Okay, join me back, join me back. Put your hand up, I will invite you. I will give you last chance. All right. Listen to me. I have, I will tell you a story about me and now you will see how, how much you think I am telling the truth. Is that okay? Okay. My grandfather, he died standing for a year. And nobody noticed that he is dead until the ants, the termite, they ate his stick. Because when he died, he was holding a stick. What do you think about my story? I don't believe it. Why not? Are you insulting me now? No. But you said you don't believe it. That's mean I'm lying. No, you could be telling the truth. I just don't believe it. Oh, so I could be telling the truth, but it's a lie. It just it doesn't sound believable. Okay, so are you saying to me the story is a stupid? Yeah. Okay, but this is in the Quran. Wait, what?
This is in the Quran. Remember, you said to me you cannot refute the Quran, right? You can't refute the Quran. Oh, okay. Plenty of people. Yeah, but this is the Quran saying that Suleiman he died standing, and nobody noticed he's dead until the ants they ate his uh, his stick. Read it. Number fourteen. Chapter 34, verse number 14. Oh, uh, yeah, what is wrong with this? Yeah. A second ago, you said to me, this is unbelievable, that can be true. Now it's nothing wrong with this. Get out of here. <laughs> Hypocrite coward. <laughs> I have no time for kids, you idiot. What's wrong with this? <laughs> guys, what's wrong with this? I'm not going to waste my voice. Sorry, guys, with the stupidity. Seriously. You know? I mean, those people are really just stupid, you know? I don't know. I'm not going to waste my voice saying what's wrong with it. that. You don't believe in it. Don't believe in it. No problem. But obviously, you are being, you know, you are being a hypocrite. What's wrong with this? Are you sure? According to him, nothing wrong with this. Okay, as you say, the guy he died standing for more than a year and nobody noticed, nobody, not even nada. Normal, That's, those things happen all the time. His, his wives, nobody noticed. He's a king. This guy is a king supposedly, huh? And nobody noticed, brothers and sisters, that he, this king, is dead because simply he was holding the stick. It's normal to happen. It happened all the time. I mean, you know it, I know it, everybody know it. So when you say to them, my grandfather, they'll, they'll laugh at you. You say to them, this is the Quran, you say, no problem with it. A second ago it was a stupid, a second after it's okay. This is why I say to you, you cannot debate a Muslim because they are liars. You have to trick them. Do you understand now why I say you have to trick them? Nobody can debate liars. Nobody. How you can do it? It's impossible. Debating a liar is impossible. So, you know, I mean, I don't know how, how this stupid religion can stand in its feet. It takes you two seconds to notice that this is really stupid. The guy is dead. And why Allah made him nobody see notice? Because the, the shaitan did not finish the temple, brother. If they notice he's dead, they will stop working. Can't Allah make him stay alive for one year more? And what kind of a stick Suleiman you have? I mean, if, if you have a good, decent wood, there is no way the termite would eat it. Obviously, it's a cheap, cheap wood. And bu buying a stick from Walmart is better.
That's why here I help people they learn how to debate with Muslims because there's no debate with liars, always. You cannot debate them. It is impossible. It's like debating with Satan. I believe actually Satan is more honest than Muslims. And I'm serious about that. <clears throat> all of them they lie. Shake, <clears throat> shake, not shake, doesn't matter. All of them they lie. But you know, when, when you debate uh, someone he claimed to be a scholar, a very well known sheikh, it is harder for him. To, to exit uh, <clears throat> but what they do like as an example when I debated this guy uh, Al Husseini uh, he is the head of the Muslim Shia in USA supposedly and he was the consultant of the stupid George Bush he hired a Muslim imagine during the war in Iraq a Shia Muslim uh, so the second I put him in the corner it took me two minutes actually after we started. He started calling me Zionist. Uh, you know, the debate is there. Go watch it. He started jumping like a monkey, like a like a like a donkey everywhere. Just because I, you know, I just told him the truth. He could not refute me. He could not answer me. Actually, the debate is in Arabic, but uh, somebody put the subtitle so you can watch it. <clears throat> you know, when you... Uh, Always in Islam, even Muslims between each other, the second one of them he cornered the other one, they start, they avoid the debate itself and they start attacking, a, uh, making a personal attack, you know. They, they try always to bully you. In this case, this guy, he do not know me, so what he can bully me with, he, he accused me to be Zionist. He could not answer anything I said. <clears throat> Do we have any Mohammedan? What the video name? Uh, search Hisham al Husseini uh, versus a Christian prince. This guy he been interviewed many times in uh, in Fox News. They tried to corner him, but they cannot. I did. I made him say clearly he want to kill the Jews. Actually, this video should be sent to the FBI. And this guy should be arrested and deported. He made it clear, you know, he want to cleanse. He want to cleanse. He mentioned that word. The earth from people like me and the Zionists. The Jews. All right, I'm not going to stay longer. It's getting late for me. And I don't want to stay here yawning. And you hear me. Look like somebody paused the video for you guys. So you can watch it if you want. Yeah, but it, does it have subtitled? Is this one with subtitle? All right. 
Okay, you can watch it and see how the idiot. And he accused the Jews that he keep using his internet. <laughs> and you know, the funny is, those ABN, I, I stop going in their TV. Because each time I, they bring me to debate somebody, they say to me, the owner of the TV, uh, uh, Christian, please, can you please be nice to them? We don't. We want them to come back. I mean, don't uh, don't uh, hit so hard and like don't smash the guy because he will not come back. So can you please? And I can't take it no more. Each time I want to speak to somebody, they have to give me a lecture for fifteen minutes before we go to debate the guy. Like please. So I said, why are you inviting me? And then I told him. I said, email. I said, don't 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 even contact me anymore. I'm not going to be nice to anybody. I'm Christian Prince. I will stay Christian Prince. Like it, like it. You don't like it. This is, you know. Yeah, even the guy, by the way, in the TV, he took his side. The the, the Christian guy, he took his side just to to make him feel better. You know, like, <laughs> which me. <mean, laughs> anyway, you can watch it and laugh. Uh, they get they get the second guy after Rashad Khalifa, the, the one who claimed to cali to be the, the caliphate of the Muslims, and uh, he's the prophet. The Muslim they killed him, so now he have the second one who took his name. I debated him on the uh, uh, ABN. What this guy that edit in the ABN he did? He let him go. He said now he have to go. What do you mean he have to go? So what? He let him go. Anyway, imagine you go like you, you, you bring people to do a boxing match for real fighting, and then you say to them, Don't uh, please don't do boxing. Well, what kind of debate this debate is? And me, myself. I cannot, you know, be anything except me. It doesn't matter really what people say. I have my own comedy, I have my own words, I have my own... I, 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 there is no way you can tell me don't say that. This is how I am. And people like to listen to me because I say it as it is. No sugar coating. You say something stupid, I say to you, you're stupid. It doesn't matter who you are. I find you look like a potato, I will say to you, potato. I have my phrase, I have my words, and I'm happy with them. I'm not going to speak as they wish. The potato is a potato. The donkey is a donkey, and the horse is a horse. Who like it, who don't, who care. As the Chinese, they say, he left as a donkey, never come back as a horse. Right? Uh, Potato Shabir Ali, he want to debate David Wood. He want to debate everybody except me. ABN, and this is the funny about them. They said to me, you want to debate, uh, uh, like we invited uh, Shabir Ali to debate you. I told them, don't tell him, Christian Prince. Those guys, I don't want to use the word potatoes, they send him emails, says Christian Prince. They, I ask him who is the one who will debate me. They said the Christian Prince. The guy, at first he accept, you know, and then he sent an email, says he is busy with his PhD. And since then he is busy. And I told him, don't tell him, Christian Prince, he will run away. He went to Amazon, he bought my book, after he got my book, right away he sent them an email saying to them, I apologize, I'm busy with my PhD. Uh, they will debate someone, he don't speak Arabic, someone who don't, uh, uh, American, you know, he know nothing about Islam, little knowledge here, there, they can, re they can play with it easy. But with this guy, what we would do? Can we say to him, it doesn't say that, CP?
And actually, this is why I don't like to go to platform of anybody. If you remember those uh, Filipinos from the Philippines, they asked me to debate the three sheikhs. They said the three sheikhs don't want to debate Christian. Brother, can you brother debate him? I said, okay, sure, sure. But don't tell them. Don't tell them that Christian Prince is going to debate them. Just tell them we are well ready, the day, etc. Don't mention anything about me. So I spend the 20 minutes, keep repeating, don't forget. Don't tell them a Christian Prince. You promise me. You said, sure, 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 we promise you, sure, we promise you. Okay. Then the day when the debate is coming, I found that not only they told them, they have uh, they have the title, Christian Prince versus, like, what the heck? Those guys, they are scared and terrified. They come, the guy hold the microphone and says, as salam as salam alaikum. As, uh, you know, and then, then we, we, sorry, we cannot debate. And, uh, you, are, you are being rude, you know, bye-bye, well, you know, what the heck? They told him, they told the guys that the Christian Prince is here. 20 minutes I was repeating to them saying, don't tell them who is do, who is going to be there. I don't know what to say. All right, guys, it's time for me to go. I hope you have a guys good time. I will try tomorrow, maybe if I could, if not the day after, to come back again. And I say to you, thank you very much for being here. I'm just trying to give my voice a little bit of a break. As you see, you can notice my voice is not doing good these days. Too much shouting. And this is why, actually, I'm not going to waste my time with people who they are not mature when they speak to me. Either someone is valuable, he have a value of things they say, Someone is educated. Otherwise, if you are a kid trying to put yourself in the other side of me, you are no match. We want to debate people who have knowledge, not kids. Debating with kids take us nowhere, you know. And even if you are a scholar and you want to lie, no problem. But at least it's worth it. It's worth it. If you are a big sheik and long beard, and people know you, then it's worth it for me to waste my time on you. At least we will make a nice barbecue out of you. But uh, getting bust to a kid mean nothing to me. He knew his line himself. But exposing a big shake mean a lot. So I want to say thank you all. May the Lord bless you. And God is good. So is Jesus. And Muhammad is a filthy man. And we confirm that every day. And no Muslim can refute us. And the one who said you cannot refute the Quran, idiot. The Quran refute the Quran. You do not need me to refute the Quran. The Quran is a book of contradictions, not only fair theory stories. Thank you, and see you soon again. This is your brother Christian Prince, who has served you humbly for.